Hey, welcome to this week's video where I'm going to be unboxing the brand new MacBook Air 2022. So I'm very, very excited. Let's get straight to it. So I've still got it here, like literally still in its brand box. So I'm going to be doing it all the way with you. And I'm very excited. So it's got this little tab to just pull it along. There we go. Ta da! Here it is. So, this is the starlight colour that I went for, and I really ummed and ahed about what colour to get. I really like the midnight colour online, but I watched a few videos and I looked at like it in different lightings and things like that, and it was more blue than black, which is what I was wanting, and also like the fingerprints and things like that. I just thought it was going to be too much, and to be honest, it, well, it wasn't me. Harry thought, is it going to be too fingerprinty? Is it always going to look really dirty? So he did encourage me to look at the other colours. So obviously they had the classic um, grey and space grey, well, silver and space grey. Mm -hmm. Then this is the new one, which is Starlight. And then there was another one called Midnight, which was like, it's like a navy. Anyway, I'm going to start rumbling on. I'm going to open it. on my knee I think. There we go. There it is. So obviously it comes with its charger and whatnot. But it is so small. It's so lightweight and thin. I love it right now for the really satisfying bit. So happy I went with this colour. It's basically like the silver, but it's just a warmer silver. So it's got like a tiny little tint of like gold and it's just a warmer silver. It looks so nice and it feels just amazing. Just all Apple products always just feel so good quality. I'm so excited. I used to have a MacBook Pro, but it was a bit old, and then I got rid of it and just got an iPad. <gasps> Sorry to charge. <laughs> So, and then obviously I started YouTube, and so I've been editing on an iPad this whole time, and part of the reason I have not, oh, hello. Hello. Hola. Anyway, as I was saying, I've wanted one for like over a year now because I'm editing videos and I just find it so much, well, I know I will find it so much easier because I've been on this, on the iPad and it's just the storage and then the memory card and oh, it is just a huge, huge deal. But now I have this. It is gonna make my life so much easier, which means I'm gonna be so much more consistent. <laughs> Because the reason why, like in the last three to six months, I have not been very good at editing and uploading. I have, must have like five videos ready to edit and upload, but I just haven't because I'm losing the will to live with editing on my iPad. So I just thought, you know what, well, I'm just going to buy one. I've watched one for ages. I'm just going to buy one. And here she is. And here she is. I mean, just look. And then there's the back, so it's still got the like pads on, obviously, for putting it down. But it feels really, really lightweight. I probably shouldn't throw it about the first time I touch it. I'm just getting a bit excited. Um, that was the charger. That was really clever. I've dented it already.
I don't know if you can see that there. I haven't even had this out of the box for five minutes. Why? Why am I like this? You know, when I... English as the main language. Press the return key. When I had a MacBook Pro, literally within like the first month, I dropped it on the floor and I dented the side. Um, but that is impressive. Well done, Claire. Um, Mac OS contains a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on. Anyway, um, so like a lot of Apple products, um, I guess they're not extremely durable. I mean, this fell onto it. Nevertheless, I am still very excited. <laughs> I can't believe I've just done that. I cannot believe I've just done that. I used to throw my old MacBook around all the time. Anyway, it doesn't change the fact that I finally have it. Minus that. I'm just going to hold it like this now. But I'm so happy with it. I love the colour. I hadn't seen the colour in person before. So I did take a bit of a gamble when, because I didn't want it to be too gold, but I think it's just, I think it is just the perfect amount of gold with the silver. Let me turn my ring light off and see if that shows it in a different light as well. So then that's it. See, it does look very silver. But as you can see, it's just a warmer silver. I love it. I love it. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. So anyway, yes. So this is what the MacBook Air 2022 looks like. As you can see, it is super thin. Really, really lightweight. And that's what it looks like when it's closed. So it's really, really thin and lightweight. What I was going to try and do is read the spec. So I went for the 13.6 inch. And um, so this is 250 gigabyte with an SSD card. So everything that you'd imagine. So Retina LED display. It's got two USB-Cs and a headphone jack. And it has the brand new M2 processor, which I'm not going to lie. I'm not quite sure what it means, but the one before was one and this is two so it must be better but yeah anyway i'm going to close up the video there and try and see if i can oh has it gone oh there it is okay it's not actually that bad <laughs> i'm going to go set this up so i can actually use it because i want i have what i don't know why i've waited this long to be honest but i'm glad i did because it meant i got the newer one not the older one so this is the 2022 one in starlight and i love it it's so pretty. I'm just looking at it in the viewfinder. It is so pretty. And I can't believe how light it is. It says it's something like two pounds, but that's all it weighs. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap up this video here. If you have got this far, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video and hopefully many more to come. Now I can edit them nice and quickly. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching and see you in my next video.